Hello everybody, this is Money Mom. Welcome back to the channel. It's personal growth. I really feel led to talk about this topic today. I want to get more real with you guys and authentic about what's going on in my life. And this subject is about self-talk. Let's get started. What are the thoughts and feelings going through your mind? Do you ever feel like they are controlling you and you don't want them to and you feel like you're in a constant struggle? I know sometimes I do, but I feel like recently I've had a breakthrough and I want to tell you why. First of all, I think about all the thoughts and feelings that go through my mind that I obsess over, that replay in my mind over and over. They could have to do with number one, weight and health. Oh, I think I'm always going to be overweight. I'm always going to be struggle. I'm always, you know, going to, you know, have to give up all my favorite foods. Or number two, oh, I'm aging. I'm getting older. I'm not going to be able to do the things I did when I was younger. It's just a matter of a fact. Number three, I'm not going to be able to get the body back I used to. Number four, I'm never going to make as much money as, as some other people out there. Number five, uh, the future is you know, dreary. It could be any thought that goes through my head. And the more and more you think on those kind of thoughts, the more and more you can manifest those things in real life. That's why I wanted to talk about this. I've just really, I don't even know why, I've had a wake-up call basically a breakthrough where I realized there's so many thoughts and feelings that I've been concentrating on over and over in my head that are not serving me and they're not serving other people. They're not helpful. They're hurtful. And they're, I want to get rid of them. I, I don't want to have them be in control of me anymore. I want to be in control of the thoughts that I'm having. And I think one of the reasons I've had this is recently I had a little falling out with a friend. I won't go into long details of it. We did make up. But one of my little uh, things that I don't care for is when someone gives me unsolicited advice and I feel I get a little defensive. And after that happened and we had a little tiff about it and I got upset with her, I thought to myself, you know what? I could have turned that into something positive. I could have just said, well, thank you so much for caring and just moved on and not made a big deal out of it and not let those those negative emotions feeling and agitation play over my mind over and over and over again because I allowed it to consume me and it wasn't doing anyone any good so that actually was what caused my breakthrough and I wanted to give you some helpful hints because I've noticed and it's only been like a week and a half two weeks since this but I've noticed since I've been doing some of these exercises that they have been really helpful to me and I wanted to share them with you. Before I started doing this, I always felt guilty and shameful of some of my feelings and my thoughts and I didn't like the way I felt. Well, this is what I want to tell you and I have three points. Number one, you have thoughts and you have feelings. It's okay to have thoughts and feelings, even if they're negative. Don't feel bad about having a thought or a feeling. Everyone has them. They come so quickly. Acknowledge, hey, this is just a negative thought. This is just a negative feeling. I have a right to feel this way. When you do that and you say that, it takes the shame out of it and you feel okay and then you can move on from that thought or the feeling. That's number one. Number two, guess what? It's just a thought or a feeling. You can change it. You have power to change that thought or that feeling into something positive. For example, let's say you're waiting in line and you're waiting in line and you're really agitated you're like, well, I've got things to do and this checkout person's being, you know, slow and I'm really agitated. Well, you can just keep thinking that over and over again, but the more you think about it, the more agitated you get. You're waiting in traffic. You're really getting impatient. Guess what? You're going to get more and more agitated. But if you put it, if you turn it around and you think of something positive or something you're looking forward to doing, all of a sudden your mood changes. So you can change that thought. That's number two. You can re and then number three, and this is where I was getting to it, is that you can replace those thoughts and feelings with something positive, something that serves you better and something that serves others better. And I have noticed that since I've been doing this, my mood is changing. I don't get as irritable lately. And as a matter of fact, I had a few friends give me unsolicited advice recently. And guess what? I just said, well, I really appreciate your concern and thank you so much. And I'll take that under advisement. I didn't get mad. And whenever something, something agitates me or irritates me, 
I just am like, you know what? It's okay. This is just a moment in time and time will move on to something else. I just feel like these little exercises have helped me. Let me know if you guys ever feel like you let thoughts and feelings control you and how do you handle it? I want to hear from you. This is Money Mom signing off and as always, I love you.